Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my horse ranch series. So right now, Mallory's helping Jacqueline with her first ever baby food. Wait, she has a tooth. Oh my God, wait, two teeth. I don't even know she had teeth. Do they grow them? Or is that just from through Cass? Wait, that's so cute. But she's trying her first ever baby food, which is applesauce. I seem to do that as the first one because it seems the easiest. Does that mean you like it? Okay, it looks like Jacqueline liked applesauce. Successful taste testing. All right, so she unlocked first food milestone. And also while I was playing a little bit off camera, she did, damn, she grabbed that spoon. Hungry, but she did end up unlocking the, I think it's like finger pincher something. What was it called? Oh, the pincer grasp, which means she can also try finger food, which I haven't even tried at all in the game because I just discovered this more recently with my Growing Together series. But I do want to go ahead and give it a try. So I think we're going to do some yogurt melts and see. Oh, it just like comes onto the high chair. Oh, she's just going to. Oh, Jacka wasn't sure about yogurt melts. Maybe this food will need to be explored again. Oh, she's eating it on her own. First finger food milestone. Okay. Are you trying to eat it by yourself now? Oh, no. Right, she tried. Can you grab one for me? The way she's looking at it, she's done. So today, oh, she, see, I like how Jacqueline thinks. She also thinks that we should have had a pig in this pack or in the game in general. I totally agree. A little piglet would have been so adorable. I think we can, oh wait, there she goes. She's like, um, I don't know about this. But she's eating it, okay. Anyways, so Mallory has done a little bit more work around here. She started working on her bedroom. Her bed came in and she also got a new lamp. So she's done a little bit of progress in this room. She also got a package. So we're going to be unpacking that a little bit later on. But I think what we're going to do is actually, I don't know. Also, that's another thing I've noticed a lot lately is that she'll just be walking around and she just gets like negatives with random sims. Like, who are you getting negatives with? Like you're not talking to anybody. So I'm like confused what that's about. What I wanna do is head over to the vineyard because I wanna go over there. The way the door just closed on me, that's so rude. Um, <laughs> are you blowing bubbles? Why do you stop when I get here? I wanna see you do it. Anyway, like I'm saying, we're gonna go to the vineyard and go check that out. It's not even that far away from here, so we're gonna walk there. But we gotta put Jacqueline into our back carrier. Are you guys playing peekaboo? Dang, how many milestones are in this game? That's crazy. All right, so we're heading. What the? Uh, what <laughs> just happened? Okay, well, we're on our way to the vineyard, so. I do want to also ask Denise about the process of getting a horse because Mallory's sort of been thinking about getting one because ever since she was young, she always wanted to have a horse and like she never really thought that she'd get the opportunity to have one. But now that she's living on a small little ranch, why not get a horse and experience that? Although I think if we do adopt a horse, I do want to get a baby because or a foal, I should say. Just because, you know, I want to raise it and have one from like its young stages. So this is the vineyard. This is built by, I want to say it's that one green leaf or something like that. I'll make sure to link the gallery ID in the description. But it is such a stunning build. When I saw this on the gallery, I was like, I need to have this. It is so gorgeous. I can't wait for us to go inside and I'll show you guys. Mallory is quite mesmerized by this place and is so excited to take a look inside. And actually, Denise is out here, so we can go ahead and greet her and say hey. Or she's coming to greet us. Hey! It's so good to see you again. I'm excited to check it out. So the Steel Vineyard slash winery is also sort of like a venue. People can come here, like explore. Like a certain part of the house is, of course, like closed off um, so that people can't just like roam around all the time. But it's sort of open for people to come and drink wine, taste it. And then over here you have even a small little wedding venue area. So it'd be so cute to get married here. And I just love how cozy it feels in this spot too. So then past here we have kind of like a workshop area, maybe more of like a shed. And then over here is where the wine is being made, which I think is so cool. I love the setup here. So then down here we have more like storage for the wine. 
So we're going to definitely ask Denise to help us out and learn more about this business because Mallory really wants to take over and just, you know, keep the business growing. Now she's just like going around. Denise said, go ahead, explore, uh, take a look for yourself because, you know, at the end of the day, Mallory does own this property, and if she ever decides to just be like, okay, maybe we're done with the fixer-up or we want to move here, we so totally can. We might put her down so that she can do some tummy time. The way she's just hanging onto her back. <laughs> okay, but we're going to have to have a chat with Denise. Talk about... Oh, ask about getting a horse. Perfect. We can ask her and see what she says because we're very interested in that. Although... Adding a horse would definitely add to a layer of work because we already have so much going on, fixing the house, taking care of Jacqueline, so there would be a lot on our plate. We can purchase or sell them for simoleons. A horse's value depends on their skill levels, past competition performances, quality of care, and age. If a horse has champion genes, this will also increase their value. Horses can also be rescued at a reduced fee due to the environment they came from. Rescue horses will have more difficult traits and extra attention and care may be needed. We can either call the ranch animal exchange or go to the computer as well as we can go to the equestrian center. So I guess we'll have to see and keep our options open. Chat about property values. I mean, honestly, she can go ahead and talk about that considering our scenario. You can come in the house. I mean, of course, it's a gorgeous freaking house. Also, I didn't even show you guys the back of the house. In general, the way that this is structurally built, it just feels like a real, like, house. I don't know how to explain it. I wish I could build like this. I was literally in awe when I saw this, but there's a pool back here, which is really pretty, and then more seating area out here to go ahead and drink wine. And then there's like this like kind of bar space too, which I think is really nice. It's very cozy. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. So, I guess this is time for me to introduce uh denise's nephew so <laughs> so let me go ahead and give you guys a rundown about reese so unfortunately his parents passed when he was really really young his mom's older sister aka denise ended up taking him in very young and basically raising him she adopted him and essentially she's his second mom like he calls her mom although he knows the situation and everything like that no matter what he just considers her as his mother so he does have her last name everything so he's reese holt and see he's been busy outside working you know shirt off she's like hi it's nice to meet you i'm new he's like yeah i've, I've heard around town that there's someone new here and so, obviously, he came upstairs to introduce himself to Miss Mallory. Yeah, so, <laughs> I was, that's not how I wanted to introduce him to you guys, but listen. Oh, th that is so kind. He walked out while she went to go breastfeed her. Oh my god, what a gentleman. Um, even though, like, it's a normal thing, but, you know, he was like, I'll give you your privacy while you go ahead and take care of your daughter, uh, which is really sweet, so... Yeah, um, he has been working on the vineyard for a very long time. He also kind of has a side gig where he works on a ranch and takes care of horses. So he's very much into that. Like he knows about horses, which also we could definitely go ask help from him when we do get our horse. But I think what I want to do is head over to the nectar making spot because I keep saying winery, you know, you, you know um, interchangeably. I know that Sims, it's nectar making, but winery you know what i mean so uh we're gonna go over there and try and practice because denise said like you can come over i can teach you how to do it so we're actually gonna get over there i'm so excited oh my god i can't believe i did make an outfit with his shirt off because i was like oh if it's hot outside like of course he'd like take his shirt off and i mean he has stuff to show off so but I was not expecting that. And I'm sure Mallory was like, oh my god, who is this man, you know? So we're gonna just put her down here while we work on nectar making. Or, you know, you can just sit. That's fine too. So we're gonna purchase some base ingredients now. We're gonna start off with strawberries for her because she's more advanced. So we're gonna show Mallory how it's done. We obviously want to get the technique right and figure it out because we've tried doing it. If we want to take over this business, like we need to understand how to do this. So 
we're gonna take part with Denise and just kind of have a good time and enjoy the process of this. I mean, I feel like Mallory really enjoyed, you know, feeling- Oh! See, you could be really good at nectar making and still fumble. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. I think it's really cute having them both like work on this together and sort of understand the history behind steel winery and everything like that. So eventually you'll get better, Mallory. I promise you that. But there we go. So there's her wine done. So I'm wondering if it, it's taking her a little bit longer to do this because she is in her first level because look at that she was she's already done and mallory's still here squashing scrapes scrapes <laughs> grapes squashing grapes girl our first grape wine actually so unfortunately it was it's poor quality but what do we expect denise actually invited mallory to stay over for dinner so we're actually going to go ahead and have her prepare a meal for them it's already getting late it's almost 10 o'clock we've been here for <laughs> what feels like forever already but you know we're trying to get the gist of nectar making there is a mod that i saw where you can make nectar a lot faster and i might download it just so that we can like produce more let's call to meal wow this is so delicious thank you so much <laughs> literally a big old fish i don't understand why we still have an awkward encounter with her i'm really confused oh and there's reese he's still you know wearing no shirt it's fine. I mean, we enjoy the view. Thank you. <laughs> What'd you just call me? <laughs> Anyways, let's be friendly, small talk, ask about day. But actually, we didn't even properly introduce ourselves, so let's do that. I didn't even realize. I thought we did. Oh, he's going to the restroom. She needs to use it as well, but after he gets out i want to do like a proper introduction because like we kind of were introduced but like didn't one-on-one -on -one introduce each other oh you're not gonna silly silly me back right right are you too good for us is that what it is it's fine it's whatever uh do you mind watching jacqueline while we go use the restroom please oh did he just introduce oh i think he did it now okay the thing with reese is he's sort of more reserved it's not that he's shy he just doesn't really talk much um so it takes a lot for him to like open up and get out of his shell like the only person that he really is super close to is obviously denise i mean clearly they know how to joke around with each other but when it comes to new people and everything like that it is hard for him to uh open up and get deep with them so that is something about him and i think it has to do with the way he grew up and stuff for some reason jacqueline just doesn't vibe <laughs> with D denise like they keep on getting negatives it might take some time honestly to develop that but i mean look at how cute she is with her like how can you not jacqueline please like her <laughs> oh she's like i need to take a dip in the pool okay girl Denise is like, please, by all means, go enjoy the pool for a little bit. She's like, thank you. I need some time to relax on my own. This pool is so nice and her fit just like suits like the luxury look of it, honestly. But she's getting really tired. So I think it's time for us to head home. All right, Denise, go give Jacqueline over to Mallory so that we can be on our way home. Oh, it's so bright in here. Maybe Jacqueline's growing to love her it'll happen see she's gonna miss her all right we have to go oh my god it's already three o'clock in the morning i did not realize we were here that long it's gonna take us a while to get back home because she's so tired but listen you know she wanted to see the space that her grandfather built through hard work and she definitely feels more inspired to follow in his footsteps and sort of build steel winery back up Oh, are you coming after us, Reese? He's like, wait up. Imagine. Oh, no, he's going somewhere else. Never mind. Um, a girl can hope, but <laughs> this is going to be like Mallory steps into getting heavily into nectar making and figuring out what works, what doesn't. And that also means we're going to have to restart our garden because what we have going on is not going to work unless she gets a roof over the plants that we can grow grace, which is what we might do so we'll see 
All right, so it's actually the next day. Yesterday, Mallory spent all day working on getting her furniture set up in her room. So this is what her room looks like right now. Again, not completely finished, but it's definitely a good starting point. And she also made some progress on painting this room as well. So we now have all the rooms painted. Our next step would probably be to work on the bathrooms because she definitely wants to upgrade those. And then we'll probably start working on the exterior part of the house. So we have Jacqueline over here. Oh, my game keeps like breaking. I don't understand. Well, I guess when my game sorts itself out, the other thing Mallory went ahead and did is get rid of all the grape seeds since she learned that that's not able to be grown during this season. And she ended up going and planting four plantain trees, which I think she needs to go ahead and water these, but we'll figure that out, I guess, later because my game is still stuck. I love how Jack was the only one that's moving, but Mallory's just completely stuck. <laughs> Hello? I don't even know what this means. Okay. But I think it fixed it, actually. Well, feed her and then we'll eat our breakfast. So. Oops, that's what I meant to do. Okay, grab your serving. You don't like the music? Girl, you live on a ranch. You gotta like this type of music. I forgot to mention that Denise actually came by yesterday and dropped off this mixer for Mallory because Mallory did mention that she wanted to get into baking and she's like, you know what, here's a housewarming gift and so she got that for us and so now we can get into baking a little bit more, which will be nice. One thing I did want to go and talk about was her relationship with her ex, aka Jacqueline's father. I did get a comment about it and I thought I would bring it up in a video. So in high school, she dated this guy named Liam who was on the football team and at the time she was also a cheerleader. So it felt like the quote unquote perfect match. So while they were dating, she ended up getting pregnant and later on she found out that Liam was cheating on her with one of her best friends as well as teammate named Sydney. So of course she broke it off. Now she doesn't have a terrible relationship with him just due to them having Jacqueline together. Mallory currently has primary custody over Jacqueline and in the future she does want to co-parent and have that relationship brew. He's not closed off from seeing her currently or anything of the sort but obviously Mallory is here in Chestnut Ridge with Jacqueline and she's trying to start a life here and everything like that so eventually that probably will grow but I wanted to let anybody know who wasn't entirely sure what was happening there. As far as Mallory and Sydney they're not really friends like They've spoken since everything occurred, but they're like not willing to really develop any sort of relationship there. So, oh, we got promoted. Okay, well, we're gonna work from home. Now I noticed that she actually does get quite a bit of random um, like work assignments. Like she had one for the humor and hijinks festival. I think the main thing that I'm gonna work on is like her promotional tasks. And I'm just gonna like auto complete these, if that makes sense because she's not a gamer she's not gonna do that but i want her to like make money so i'm just gonna work on promotional tasks and currently she's doing okay with these so i'm just gonna auto complete and yeah you do get paid for them but that's fine so we got promoted to clickbait writer and she received a bonus of 180 simoleons respond to mail and share image i don't know what that means but i guess we'll see maybe that's the through our phone Oh, respond to mail. Okay. Why are you stuck? I'm realizing now that she's still stuck. I'm gonna have her scoot here because I do want to try and get some crawling started. Okay. It's gonna take you a little while to get here, but she'll get here. I want to try and get these skills up because I would love to age her up very soon. I mean, she's been learning everything fairly quickly, so I'm hoping that crawling is gonna be a fast venture for her as well. Oh, she's learning. She did it. <gasps> Wait, did that mean she learned? Or is that progress? Wait, she learned! Jacqueline! My crawling baby! There we go! Show us what you learned. Crawl here. Oh, look at our little baby! She's grown up so fast. Now, I think we can also teach her to stand, but I don't know if stand is like a thing that will take a while as well. But I do want to try. <laughs> Did you scare her? She's like, Mom, why? Oh, she's waving. 
She feels so much like a, like more of like an active baby now. Well, infant, you know what I mean? She really doesn't like this music. Okay, maybe we play the kids station because clearly she's just not vibing with this. Kids radio, is this better? You like that? Ooh, ooh. Wait, she, oh, I thought she learned. I was like, what the heck? I'm glad you don't think my llama drugs are getting old. I feel like you just get me. <laughs> Yeah, she doesn't even know what you're saying, hun. Oh yeah, also we do get paid in child support as well. So she gets money, I think every Sunday or every Monday. Apparently she gets two sets of child support, which I mean is nice. So we almost get like 2,000 simoleons, which is helpful. I'm trying to decide whether or not it's the right time to get a horse. Like I sort of want to get one now. Maybe I do. Honestly, let's do it. Let's take her and let's get ourselves a horse. Put her in the back carrier and we'll be ready to go off to get Aww. our horse. Oh, the way she just changed her outfit twice. Okay, she was just feeling the little romper, I guess. All right, so now that we're here, we can go to the equestrian center and adopt one. And the thing is, I'll probably end up changing the look of the horse. So if it doesn't look the same, you know, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, so our options for a full are Shiloh which is a boy, and they're needy, mellow, and fearful. And then Tulip is a free spirit, needy, and intelligent. I sort of feel like maybe we go with Tulip only because I feel like they have less negative traits, whereas Shiloh has fearful and needy. We're gonna adopt her, get ourselves a little full, which is kind of exciting. I hate that we have to leave Jacqueline outside, but you know what? We'll be back, I promise you. <laughs> the way she's just waiting. Don't worry. See, we're babysitting you. You'll be fine. <laughs> we're the best babysitters. I'm telling you. All right. So we've officially rescued our first ever horse. Now, I don't know what we name this horse. I feel like maybe if I give the horse a makeover and then we'll decide on a name. Where's our foal? Oh, hello. Look at our little baby. Okay, yeah, you're still getting a makeover. I'm sorry. But you're cute. Oh, look at the way she's looking at her. Love that. So it says, congratulations, you have a horse. Owning a horse is a way of life that requires hard work, training, and lots of care. To properly care for your horse. Yeah, well, we have the animal feeder, water, horse bed, ball. We don't have barrels and stuff, but we can come here to, like, do that. But let me go quickly check her out and cast and we'll see. Okay, so I didn't actually drastically change what Tulip looks like. I t sort of just changed the color, the marking on her forehead. So the spot was like up here and then I changed the color mainly because my reshade makes it look more red toned. So yeah, we have our horse. I don't even want to keep the name Tulip. If you guys want to leave some name suggestions for her, in the comments. I don't know. I can't think of anything at the moment unless I find something between this episode and the next one. But I think we're all gonna head home. Hey, welcome home. This is your new place. I hope you're excited. Oh, you're so cute. If I have aging disabled, does it also impact the horse? Okay, yeah. So I don't know how I'm gonna age her up. We'll see. But she's trotting around right now. What's that? Girl, it's grass. She's scared. Honey, I know we'll take care of you in just a minute. One second. Just gotta take care of our other baby first. This is gonna be a handful, because now we have two babies. <laughs> I think I'm gonna bump up her energy a little bit, um, just so that I can still take care of the horse a little bit. Um, I feel like she doesn't know where to go. I think we can assign this, right? Yeah, assign bed to Tulip. Oh, I'm realizing now that the controllable pets mod works for horses. Oh, look at her go. She runs so funny. Ooh, ooh, oh, okay, okay. Doing circles. All right, let's get over here. Let's calm her down. It's fine, you're okay. We'll eat later, honey. The priority right now is the horse. Or the foal, I should say. Wait, did you just pee? What happened? It's okay. You're fine. It's so cute. Oh. Do you feel better now? Happy? Hopefully. Also, we don't have any prairie grass around here, so we might have to just refill the feeder. And then eventually I'll probably like put some prairie grass around here. All right, so now we have food for you. 
bottle feed her. Come on over. There you go. <laughs> I can't wait to see her grow up though. So I think on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to consider a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a video very soon. Bye guys.